Welcome to Tech Notice. Now, this is quite an exciting video and I'm quite excited about this because this video basically shows you how you can get free performance on your AMD processors. Or if you have an AMD based PC like this one over here, then you can just have free performance. And in my case, I got plus 20% performance. And now this video is completely like focused on creators because for gamers, it's not that big of a deal because the single core boost clocks still remain the same, but the multi-core boost clocks for this little simple trick just literally increased my whole CPU rendering performance by 20%. So let me show you how this works. Very, very exciting. First of all, I think it's important to show you like what hardware we are running over here. So this one over here is our Ryzen 9 5950X processor, 16 core, 32 threads, absolutely beast of a processor. We have Aorus 3090 over here. This is extreme edition for this one. Absolute big chungus, this one over here. We have 128 gigabytes of RAM. We have a massive Noctua NHD 15 cooler, Chroma Max. Let me just run you this Cinebench benchmark and then you can see first what happens. Okay, so let's do a little Cinebench R23 baseline. So we're gonna test it over here. So multi-core, I'm gonna press start and then we're gonna see what the score is. Now on the bottom over there, let me pull this out as well. So this is the hardware monitor, we can see that it's 100% utilization at the moment and the core clock speeds over here are running roughly about 3.7, 3.8 and then look our CPU temperature is quite good over there. We're running like 100% utilization, every core is maxed out and we're running at 52C which is very, very, very low in terms of CPU performance. So we're like, we've got a lot of thermal headroom to use this processor. So check this out, our score over here is 24,986 points, almost 25,000, okay? And let's have a look at then some of the packages. So the maximum temperature it reached here was 62C uh, for our CPU. And we can see that the package power, we were drawing 132 watts from the CPU. Um, and as you can see, the clock speeds, but like the single core clock speeds, as you can see, this one reached over five gigahertz, 4.8, 4.9, 4.6, something like that, you know, all of these. These are like the maximum over there, but the main point is to check out the all core boost clock, which we were staying roughly about 3.7, 3.8 uh, gigahertz. So let me show you this now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna restart the computer. And then as we are greeted with the motherboard logo, we're gonna start hitting delete as soon as this uh, screen goes black. Boom, we are in the BIOS settings. So basically what you wanna do is, we're gonna go to OC over here. We're gonna talk about this, what it is in a moment. We're gonna go to advanced CPU configuration. If you're running any other motherboards, not MSI, for example, Gigabyte or Asus or something like that, they all have this for AMD platform, but you just have to find it somewhere. Just have a little look around where it is on this, but it's most likely in the OC settings, even though you can argue whether this is an overclocking feature or not, but basically we're gonna go AMD overclocking. See this over here, position boost overdrive. At the moment it's auto, which basically means it's off. All we wanna do is we're gonna press enabled and we're just gonna go save and exit from the top over here and then Check this out, check what happens. This is super, super exciting. Literally just that one click, we're on Cinebench R23 now again. I'm gonna press start and I'm gonna bring this uh, CPU monitor up over here. Now check out this boost clock over here, 4.4 gigahertz. PC is getting a bit louder, right? But look, all core boost is running at 4.4, 4.3 gigahertz, which is absolutely amazing. Now let's have a look at our score. We have 28,826 points. Now I've actually reached over 29,000 with this as well. So I, we can get extra 200 points. So if this is 29,000 points, right? And previously we got almost 25,000. That is 4,000 points difference. Let's have a look how much it is actually different. So right now, as you can see, we are getting roughly around 16% performance boost. And you know, previously I got 
20 depends like what your first score is because the lower the first score is the better obviously this is but right now this is 16 percent extra performance which is ridiculous like usually between the processes the last and new gen processes there isn't that much of a difference between like between generations so that is a lot of performance difference so let's have a look at what is the cost of getting that performance boost so as you can see our like boost clocks like single core boost clocks off the uh, each core are roughly around the same you know hitting five gigahertz one of them and 4.678 you know somewhere around there but remember the all core boost clocks over here uh, was about 4.3 4.4 that is amazing and as you can see the power draw is where we're putting you know where we're paying the cost over here previously it was like what 140 something like that right now we're pulling extra 100 watts 247 watts and as you can see the maximum temperature was 84 c which is you know getting on the toasty side but it's still absolutely fine because this processor can run 95 degrees and it's completely fine. But it's just going to start to cap the performance as soon as it starts hitting that one. And you probably heard our temp, like the loudness of the PC was much, much lower as well. So what is this thing that we just did? What is AMD Precision Boost Overdrive? Even though I don't recommend overclocking for creators, I don't think this is really overclocking me personally because overclocking to me is basically forcing the processor to run at a certain speed and saying hey mate you listen you just flip and run at that speed or or you're getting sacked right so the processor is just literally gonna have to run at whatever all cores you know five gigahertz or something like that in this way over here what we're basically telling the processor is listen if you feel like you can go a bit faster just go for it but if you feel like you're struggling just go a little bit slower but you know show us what the best thing is what you can do because from the factory the actual processor comes with like a limit of how many watts it can pull and you know amperes and volts and all sorts of things plus thermal limitation and all that so basically we're telling the motherboard okay pull all the limitations off and then let it run as fast as it can without like stressing it if it feels like it's stressing it it's just going to pull it down so you don't have to worry about it and as you can see the single core boost, co boost clocks were the same but the main difference is in the all core boost clock so if you're a creator you're doing rendering and you need that rendering to be faster getting extra 10 to 20 percent difference we're getting 16 right here just in this example previously before this video i actually calculated i was like whoa 20 percent but you can expect something like that it's absolutely massive to get that so basically you're letting the motherboard decide how many watts and amperes and voltage and also thermal limit of the processor you know just let it do its job and calculate all these like algorithms like how much it can run and how fast it can run and as you can see it can run that massive another thing is the cooling if your cooling isn't adequate you can't do it that well i definitely recommend you checking this out go and try it yourself because i think it's a very safe way of getting extra performance i know your pc is a little bit louder but when you're doing rendering you're probably not going to work on it anyway so i think it's just literally free performance boost now if you want to try this out go try it out and comment below how much performance boost did you get this is going to give you extra performance boot if you're running 5000 series Ryzen processors. If you're running 3000 series Ryzen processors, the performance difference is probably not going to be that big. But if you're running one of those, let me know what is the difference in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. As you can see, it works, it's stable. And from all the testing I have done here with this PC, I've had it on and it just runs very, very stable and I haven't had any, any issues. So I'm super happy about that. Go check it out and let me know what's the difference in the comment section below. If you are new here, welcome to Tech Notice. Consider subscribing because more content like this is coming out every single week or already on the channel. So feel free to check some videos out on the channel. Hit the like button. It actually makes a difference. And I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Adios.